So, refugee, refugee, refugee. A lot of beds for refugees, but only three refugees. What about the other buildings? Suit, sweet 300. Hi. Why are you so on edge? What's going on? What are you doing here? Good to see you again. I'm just passing through here. Staying at this refugee camp. I need to get away from everything. I, I'm, I'm sure you do. She's wearing a followers of the apocalypse robe. I think. Or no. I don't know what that is. But uh, Veronica wears similar clothes. When I, she doesn't have armor. Um, so she's just here. Just chilling. I mean not chilling at all. She's got a pistol. Cocked and ready to shoot. But she's very calm in her speech, though, so it's kind of, you know, she is sort of chilling. We met her before we did a quest that uh, basically got her away from her parents. She didn't like her parents. Because, uh, they only, the parents only cared about the fields. And she was like, what about what I care? She didn't say what she cared for. Oh, look! Plastic skeleton in a... This is not gonna... I'm not even... I, 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 plastic skeletons, my dude. Plastic skeletons. There's not much in here. See you later. Is that the only suit? Sweet. Swite? Su si That's the only swite? I never know how to pronounce it. To the 200 suit. suit. There's a radio. Kill the radio. They have water in here. Chem fixer, really? Hmm. There's a lot of people sleeping in here. Oh my god! Oh, it's Keith and Junkie. Oh, it's Junkie. Everybody's named Junkie. Keith is just a friend to people in addicts. You know, we need to allow them some some uh, rep reprieve from from the addiction. He's helping them. Maybe. I don't know. What is it? A cam fixer. See, he's helping them. Hey, Keith. Get up. Get up. Hey there. Looking for a game of caravan? Sure, let's play caravan. <laughs> let's play. He doesn't bet anything. That's weird. <laughs> the antipod is zero. Wow. And now I win. No, I don't, because he doesn't have Boneyard. There we go. Hmm. And is back to sleep. Hey there. Looking for a game of caravan? I've uh, run some cons in my day. One clever bastard to another. What's your trick? Trick? There's no trick here. <sighs> Alright. Looks like you know your shit. You know how they say you make your own luck? Let's just say I make mine. With a little extra ink on the cards. Marked cards, huh? A little bit obvious, but not bad. Not like I use them all the time. Mostly I keep them in the shack. Till I see a really fat score roll into town. Who are you? Name's Keith. You feeling lucky? I got games of chance. Games of skill. Games of you name it. Want to win a little extra cash? 
Mm, it's only caravan. I think I'll pass. Don't waste my time, okay? You wasted my time. You didn't bet anything. Goodbye. See ya. Well, I know his trick now. Oh, everybody's getting up. See ya. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Hello? It's fine. Hello? It's fine. It's fine. They're all <laughs> waking up in the morning. Hello. Hello. That's definitely not weird at all. Okay, so... Maybe... Have you found out what happened to those missing refugees? Not yet, but I've got evidence that Keith has a set of marked cards he uses to cheat. Marked cards, huh? I suppose it's obvious, really. Here, you've earned this. I'm going to go take Keith into custody. If you're interested in a little extra pay, I wouldn't mind the backup. Sure, I'm in. Why not? Glad to have you. Let's go. Just stick close and follow my lead. Keith's a cowardly son of a bitch, but he might try something if he's desperate. Oh my god. He's just running for it. Gun cocked. Wait, that's not what it is. There's a there's probably a word for it. I don't know. It, it you know what he's doing. I'll help you out, mate. I'll help you out. Jesus Christ. Keith! In the name of the NCR, I'm placing you under arrest for illicit gambling. Fuck you, man. I ain't going nowhere with you. Come quietly. I don't want to have to hurt you. Why don't you cry to your wife? Oh, <laughs> that's right. She left your sorry ass. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Well, guess it's my time to get those. I'll take some of that stuff. Ooh, those spiked knuckles are proper. I don't think I don't think we've seen them yet. Okay. Hey, dude. Well, that was a bit messier than I would have liked. Was there anything else? You just. Wow! You just shot that man solely because he insulted you. Solely because he insulted you. Not because he was cheating at the games. Definitely not because of that. Um, that that might have been a tad excessive. Maybe. Maybe not. He crossed the line, and he got what was coming to him. Nobody here is gonna miss him. Anyway, I promised you an extra reward for coming along. So that's what you get. Well, that's, uh, that's that. Uh, so we have the refugees thing. We're not too far away from Cassidy's caravan. So, the, and the refugees are, oh, they're at the thorn? I guess we're going there. I mean, they're probably not at the thorn. Because that's underground. Although they could be. But, um, yeah, we're still not doing Cassidy's quest. My god, Cassidy's... It's just, I mean, we, we 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 enjoy her sniper support. Although she's like, she's a little bit... She likes going into the fights and whatnot, so... It can be a little bit messy. Okay. Where are we going? Oh. Hi. It's in West Side. Now, we. I think we've been... West side already. We just didn't talk to anybody. Hi. Prim at Howdy. Prim has a new sheriff, sheriff, that's for sure. Um look at there's there's shops and stuff. Hello. Hello? Very Oh my god, there's a super mutant over here. That's the it's the second super mutant we see in the game. Mean son of a bitch. Uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> what's a super mutant like you doing in a place like this? Ha <laughs> I wash my bone with Sibi. I have Bogo. Phoebe's a rope. Goodbye. I, I guess. Oh, hi again. Who are you? Marshal Fabish. Do you have trouble speaking? Mm-hmm. I am 
Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. 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 I have Bago. It's the two go. I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. That doesn't actually make much sense, because the T sound doesn't get... It's the B sound that uh, that he wouldn't be able to pronounce. Because super mutants are supposed to have a thing... Uh, we don't need the NCR. Preventing their lip from uh, from closing. I'm not sure why, but this is basically the original design. And... Um, and Marcus didn't. Marcus in Fallout 2, so he was definitely different. But all the mutants you find in Fallout 1, and most of the ones that you find in Fallout 2, they have that little strap. And um, I think it's a strap that Bethesda didn't include in their Fallout in their uh, in their Fallout 3 mutants. So I can imagine definitely New Vegas creating that character there just to sort of highlight the fact that they have a strap in their lip, or you know, preventing their lip from. Um, from coming down. I wonder if it is because they, they lose muscles. Like, you could easily justify that uh, by by saying that the FEV, which is the virus that makes them super mutants, by saying that it, it, it makes you lose the muscles of your face in a way that it prevents you from bringing your lip forward, uh, up. But then again, th that's not really so, like very important when you we eat, and certainly not when we talk, because we move more of our lower lip than our, our upper one. Um, but yeah, the I think that's cut content, basically, because I don't remember that guy at all. Klamath Bob. So Klamath is from, uh, a city from Fallout 2 as well. And uh, I don't remember Bob from from there. So I don't know what a reference. This, this is just some dude from there. Howdy. Name's Bob, but folks around here call me Klamath Bob. What can I do you for? I take it you're from Klamath? <laughs> yeah, good old Klamath. Not a bad place if you like hunting, eating, and skinning geckos all day. <laughs> it's a pretty dull place, but I hear there was a bit of excitement when this tribal from Arroyo came to town years back. All before my time, though. Before your time. That's obviously the character from Fallout 2. Oh, you want to play a Hannah Caravan? Sure. Sounds good. Uh, he's betting 480. Uh, and uh, he goes up to 542. Decent. And we have some new cards, but I don't think we're going to play with them. And, of course... Oh, we don't have Klamath in here. We don't have Klamath in, in the... Um, in the names. Hmm. So, goes for an 8 in the Boneyard. I'm going to give him a 6 in the Boneyard. Try to prevent him from, from stealing a 10. Oh, a 10 over here might be an, in an incentive for him to play high on the right side. I don't think it matters. Uh, and uh, there it is. And he's taking my tens away, which is totally fine. I don't, I don't mind that at all. Uh, let's uh, let's put that ten over there. And uh, I will double that ten and make it twenty-six there. He's gonna double it again, which means uh, that actually I. That's just bad. The scar track. I misclicked. I misclicked. We don't. We 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 move on. It's fine. He's very concerned with that, uh, with Boneyard for right now. So let's double the eight and get a twenty-six here. And I think if I get a six somewhere, that's gonna be oh, what a bastard. Okay, I need to be very careful here because he can win. Ooh, we got an eight over there. That's decent. Okay. Because that way I double... Oh, that way I win. No, I don't. Because he... I win now. I win now. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. As I bump my microphone. There we go. Good going. Hey, stranger. Hope you've been well. What do you need? I've got some questions about this area. I might have some answers for you. What did you want to know? What do you do around here? I run the liquor store on West Side. With things this rough, some folks need a lot of booze just to step out of the door in the morning. After I close up shop, I walk around and help keep the peace. Not that I'm good with a gun, mind you, but someone's got to do it, you know? Uh, sure. Can you tell me about West Side? Well, things aren't great here, but I've seen a lot worse. We've got the fiends to the south of us, and that ain't good. The scorpions hang out at the Monte Carlo when they aren't slinging chems or getting their heads blown off by the fiends. 
Probably the best thing we've got going on is the co-op, run by Mr. Etienne. Get some help from the followers of the Apocalypse, I think. There's a lot of people in here, then. Do you have a lot of run-ins with the fiends? Not so much lately. The NCR is giving them hell any time they poke their damn heads out. Bless those boys and gals for getting rid of that vermin. I feel pity for any man or woman that gets addicted to chems. But when they prey on decent folk, well, then it's time to put them down. Tell me about the scorpions. I don't think... It's the first time we... I think it's the first time we, we're hearing of them. Not much to tell. Typical gang of dumb bullies and angry nobodies. They're holed up a bit south of here, in the Monte Carlo Suites. They think they're tough, but any time they tangle with the fiends, they get torn right up. What's so great about the co-op? Food from the people and for the people. Anyone can buy, but the profits are shared by the folks who make the produce. Locals got these little gardens that do real well. Gosh darn well, truth be told. Etienne got some help from that Anderson kid, I think. Anyway, we don't gotta rely on merchants so much. And it means the troopers can use all the food they make over on the east side. Works out nice. Huh. Okay, um, do you know anything about uh, that super mutant walking around town? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's mean son of a bitch. I know the name sounds bad, but he likes it. He's one nasty old coot. Far as I can tell, he's one of them original super mutants. What came from the boneyard. Wandered about after that master fellow died. Eventually got caught somewhere around the hub back in NCR. Boy, they sure treated him mean down there. Cut him up so bad he can't talk no more. I tried to buy him just so they'd stop hurting him. But they didn't want any of it. Hmm. So it isn't about the strap on the lip. Interesting. Because it... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That he would be able to pronounce the B. Do you know how he got away from the NCR? Oh, also, before I say that, it's interesting that they say he's one of the original super mutants. Um, because Fallout 3 introduces the idea, although it's not in the game, uh, it's just Bethesda tried to push that as a justification for super mutants existing in the, in the East Coast. Fallout, Fallout 3 introduces the idea that there are more super mutants made besides the super mutants the Master made. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think that's all the... the the reason, the reason, or another reason why Bethesda wants the, uh, wanted to introduce the idea of um, super mutants being made after the master died, is also because they didn't have the lip or the strap on the lip, uh, and there's other co cosmetic changes in the, and more than that uh, for super mutants in the East Coast, and they're like, oh, there's just a new batch, you know, and they hand wave it away. But the reason why there are super mutants in Fallout Three is because Fallout Three is such a huge departure from Fallout that Bethesda had to put as much cosmetical stuff or cosmetic stuff that it feels like Fallout into their Oblivion with guns uh, because otherwise people would say, oh, that's not Fallout, which is misguided, for one. It's really misguided because we have other examples of franchises that change their, you know, that still name their games after the franchise but change their gameplay enough to be very different, like Fallout 3 is very different from Fallout 1 and 2, um, but at the same time change the themes and even sometimes even the, uh, even the, the like the, the, the time, oh, like the, t the setting, the, you know, when the, the time, oh, the setting happens, like for example, Vampire Bloodlines um, and Vampire Redemption, they're very different games, I think it's Redemption, they're very different games, but you know, they're still within the franchise. And of course, done by very different people, but that that's basically the same thing as Vampire, uh, as uh, Fallout Three and Fallout Two and One. But anyway, do you know uh, how we got away from the NCR? Turns out some of them night kids, whatever you call those sneaky super mutant types, got in and busted them out. I guess somebody named Tabitha led the bunch that freed them. Don't know much more than that. Mm hmm, Tabitha. How did you end up here, or how how did he end up here on the west side? He just showed up here one day. Couldn't really talk, but he remembered me all right. Ever since then, he's just been, well, hanging around, I guess. Does odd jobs for folks and smashes the bad guys when they come poking around. People around here aren't afraid of him? Some folks steer clear of him, for sure, but he don't seem to mind. Yeah. What else did you want to chat about? I, I, I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else. Sure. Show me what you have for sale. All right, then. Hopefully I've got something to wet your whistle. Oh, yeah, he's just... Ooh, man, there's so many cards. I'll buy all the cards. Uh, but he's a... Uh... A bartender. I don't need to drink anymore. He doesn't really have anything interesting. He does have money, so that's nice. Take my spiked knuckles. And not in the aggressive kind of way. 
Thank you. Bye. Okay, then. Well, that's, uh... Maybe I'm gonna... Wait, where's Mean Son of a Bitch? He left. Interesting. Yeah, liquor. I should have known. Known. No vacancy. It says no, though. That's weird. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna find him elsewhere. Because I wanna ask about Tabitha. Although he's just, he's not gonna be able to pronounce the words very well. He says he has to go. Like, he said one of the... I think that's what he was saying. Uh, is he was saying that I have to go. Bye. And, uh, I don't know where he went. At, at the... What? Hello. At the pawn shop. Miguel's pawn shop. I don't want to hear the Mr. New Vegas show. Thank you very much. This. Oh, hi, Miguel. Excuse me. If you're down on your luck and need some caps, I buy just about anything. Of course, I also got plenty of things for sale, too. I'm looking for an antique rangefinder. Somebody might have sold it t to you. Wait, this is for Veronica? It might be for, for Veronica. Antique rangefinder? I'm trying to think of something that'd be more worthless. Maybe an antique horoscope or an antique sandwich. I'll tell you something. Good luck finding that thing. But if you do manage to find it, don't waste your time trying to sell it to me. Sure thing. Uh, have you been in West Side long? My grandfather opened up this shop. Took over for him after he passed away. Sounds like you two were close. What happened to him? Well, it's funny you'd ask, stranger. My grandfather... He took care of me when Ma and Pa passed away. About a few years back, he was helping with, with an expansion. Farmers wanted more land to work with, so he went about propping fences. The whole day was a blur, but I still remember. I was gathering supplies when I heard a scream. It was the fiends. Not sure how, what was going on, but they came through the town. My grandfather was lying there, slumped over by the road. We tried to get him to the local clinic, but it was, it was too late. Um, anyway, it's the past, you know? Gotta move on. Hmm, show me what you have for sale. Not much, but it's what I got. Yes, what you have is what you got. Uh, hmm. Actually, he does have some interesting things. Combat helmet. And, uh... Lever action shotgun. Yeah, it's not really that important. And no magazines, though. We need to be on the lookout for magazines. I think I sold all my things. Yeah, um, goodbye. Till next time. Talk about worthless stuff. My god, this guy just has a bunch of junk. Does, doesn't even he have any books? I can't, I can't say words proper. Pawn shop back there. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, goodbye. See you later. Hello. Judah Kreger. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to Westside? Uh, hopefully I don't strike you at all. What do you do in Westside? I help tend the crops, stand watch for fiends, and generally help keep things civilized. How long have you lived in Westside? A couple of years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. Westside was a good place to settle down as any. Okay. Uh-huh. And you play virtual chess. I'm not really sure... <laughs> I mean, they had to do, they had to make do with what they had. That tower on the strip, the one you can see for miles, I hear it ain't sealed up no more. Yeah, I went in there. A lot of people with red hats. Marco? Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all of New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whore. The, for Poon? Is that... Is that the, the, a word for sex? Maybe. Is this apartment building yours? Yep, for a few years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something. But I haven't changed the signs. Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. 
And when pretty Sarah set her horse up here, the castle went full service. <laughs> Had questions about your tenants? Like who? Nah, nobody. All right, then. Because I don't know them. Catch you later, then. Goodbye. Hey, mean. Oh, hi again. Hi, um, goodbye. Goodbye. I can't ask him about his backstory. Is this like a little alley? Oh, this is their cooperative garden. I think. Got some people working. Doing what they do. There's another one over here. Hey, Hector. Oh, hello. Hello, what do you do here? I deliver things and stuff for the people here. They give me caps to do it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Water Bramen. The North Cistern. Okay, this feels... Oh, for, for one, hopefully there's good... No, there's not good water. Maybe that's why they were watering the plants with uh, a watering can rather than using water from the pumps. That's weird. Yeah, it's just a cistern. I think we have found a co-op. Dermo. I got nothing you need. If it's Ash you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. What do you do here, around here? Me and my partner St. James work salvage around Westside. That's all. Why is your part partner called St. James? That's a weird question. This. Why am I asking this question? I mean, I'm asking this question, don't get me wrong, but why? It's like, why are you called Dermo? Cuz, that's his name. He may be high strung, but he's alright. Hauls his half of scraps. Which is all I need. Yep. Yeah. Beat it. Dude, shut up. St. James. Why are you talking to me? I'm just trying to relax here, got it? You have a power fist. Some people have gone missing and uh, they were last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. I didn't mention Aerotech. Yeah, I mean, I must have heard rumors enough. Man, fuck you. You got nothing on me and Dermot. Yeah. Beat it. Really? We got to go through this again? What's it about this time? What do you do around here? Me and Dermot work salvage around New Vegas. Tell me about Dermo, the your partner. What do you even mean? He's Dermot. Dermot knows how to work salvage better than any man I ever met. Doesn't go asking questions all day, neither. Goodbye. Fuck off. What kind of people are nice? Dude. I said fuck off. No, your partner said fuck off. Yeah. Beat it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go into the co-op. West Side Co-op. Green produce. This is where they sell things, I imagine. And also where they have their radios on, I'm very sorry. Ooh, Salesman's Weekly and Lad's Life and whatnot. Etienne, I've heard of, oh, he's got a tick. He's got, you know, he's got like a, yeah, he's uh that's going to be very uncomfortable. I, I don't think he has that, but it would be interesting if he did. Uh, it's going to be very uncomfortable when we're talking to him and he's doing that. Because he's, he's, he's uh, I'm not sure what his, what his AI is trying to do. I'm going to move a little bit and he's going to stop doing that. See? No, no, he's still doing it. Oh my God, dude, what are you doing? Oh, he's good, he's good. Hi there. Welcome to the West Side Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, for sure. Uh, tell me about the co-op. It might not look like much, but it's what keeps us West Side locals independent. We started it a few years ago. I admit we had a lot of trouble at first, but eventually we got some help from Tom Anderson with the followers. We're finally to the point where the co-op members can start making money from sales instead of just breaking even. What's your story? Well, I've lived in Nevada all my life. Started out in New Reno, but headed down here as soon as I got the chance. If you can believe it, things are even worse back home. The whole city's still run by crime families. It used to be the Mordinos and Wrights. Now it's the Wrights and Van Graffs. Seems like things never got better. Anyway, that's all behind me now. Show me how to have for sale. All right. Thanks. I... No, thank you. 
See you later. Yeah. Oh, you got a safe back here. Would be a shame if something happened to it. <laughs>